Hey everyone, I'm Sly and I'm here with D. Make sure to like, subscribe to this video, man. We're gonna make a lot of contact every day about boxing. So make sure to like and subscribe, guys. All right, D, let's just break it down. Connor Ben versus Van Herding. We talked about Connor Ben in the last video and uh, talking about how he's kind of uh, overrated and I believe he's overrated, you don't. I think this fight right here proves that Connor Ben is over freaking rated. They're using this fight, D, to zone. Eddie Hearn, because they know once this guy goes in against the big dogs, he's going to get his ass kicked. Who the hell is this guy heriting? Not even his mama knows who he is, dog. And you want to keep coming up here and telling me Connor Ben's the future? Fight someone with the damn pause, post, man. Come on, dude. Come on. Once again, man, you're absolutely wrong. The only reason he's going against this guy, who I do admit is a cherry, but it's because he has no one else to fight right now. You look at all the other guys, Earl Spence, everybody in the top. They, uh, Keith Thurman had just fought. Terrence Crawford, everybody. They're all like lined up already this year to fight. And uh, some of them already did fight. So he's got to just fight a tomato can until one of those fights open up. As you know, they were talking about him versus like uh, Chrissy Banks or with Kel Brook. Those fights won't happen until like summertime. So that's why he's got to go get the cherry to stay active. And this guy, he is a scrub, but his, his only like um, laws came from Earl Spence. So it's going to like see as far as like the, the whole point of fighting these tomato cans is see where you're at. That's why these guys like have like twenty fights against tomato cans because they want to see the skill set. They want to see where they're at. Oh please! And that's, and please he's only twenty five. Please, he's please. He's twenty five. You're telling me this is the same guy he's been talking. I'm ready for everybody. I'm ready for now. They're all ducking ready. him. They're all oh, ducking come, him. Come dude, on. Honestly, come on. Like you could go out there, and tell Eddie Hearn, dude, pay a little more for Broner. Pay pay a little more What's for, that time for Mikey Broner? Garcia. Mikey Garcia. <laughs> let's do something. Mikey, oh let's my do some, Let's do Mikey something. Mikey still away. Let's do something. Like come on, you're gonna get this guy. This guy. They found this guy somewhere. I don't know. Where is he from? He's, been, he's been asking for Broner. He's been asking for Kel Brook. He's been asking on. for these guys. Man, this guy, he's in his prime. 25 years old, and you're wasting your first fight of the year against this dude right here. Like, dude, we were making, we were talking trash about Tank Davis, who his guys, he's fighting. Like, come on. You can't fight anybody better. When did Earl better? Spence get his big fight against Kel Brook? He was like 27. This man. guy's 25. Earl Spence had bigger fights than he didn't fight this much of a tomato can, man. Like this is like the, this guy this, has two this, losses. This, this, <laughs> this is like the sense of when remember remember back then when uh, Danny Garcia he fought freaking against who's that Ivan uh, Redback or whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah right, so, like Redbatch or something yeah, yeah him or there was like another dude that I can't even remember uh, Salka Rod Salka remember yeah oh my gosh. oh yeah that, this, yeah, this yeah. is like equivalent to that right now like you're trying to be this great dude but you're like wasting your time it's i know what it is basically eddie Hearn knows that connor ben is nothing more than a journeyman mm -hmm. and basically mm -hmm. since he knows that he's nothing more he's than the king a, of the north he's the king of the basically, north since he knows that he's gonna do exactly what mayweather's doing with tank and just fight scrub after scrub after scrub names but not really names you know guys that they know anyone could be dude so i mean that's what eddie Hearn is doing it's smart because we all know that connor ben has his flaws and we all know that he is never going to become a world champion so we we know we we know that already right no right? he's gonna be right? a champion right? he is the Am king I right? of the north he's gonna be the king of the north and the king of the ring that's what he's gonna do, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, our prediction is Connor Ben. He's gonna beat this tomato can, and we'll see. Maybe he might fight someone with a pulse next by the end of the year. You know, we don't we don't know. We really don't know. So, um, like I said, this guy. You know, he's overrated, but I know Eddie Hearn, he's doing the right thing by just uh, going. My prediction is that he's gonna go against a tomato can. He's probably gonna get. For the next year or two, go against the Broners, the Kel Brook, and then his big mega fight is probably going to get be Boots. Oh, well, yeah. because by then I just think like Thurman won't be there, Earl Spence won't be there, Crawford won't be there, and I just think by the time he's already twenty eight, it'll just be like him and Boots. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're saying he we got to wait three years for him to fight someone significant. Well, look at all these That's guys, man. Saying. That's what you're saying. No. That's what you're saying. <laughs> and basically. he's the king of the north, and he'll take it. He'll man, take it by storm when he's ready in his prime. North. Too bad there's no one in the north, man. <laughs> you're lucky, man. That's all we got, man. Some go down, comment below, and tell him that D, you're delusional, man. This oh, guy is man. nothing. He's a UK baby. <laughs> we stand by him. No matter what happens, the the cons, the deji, we stand by them. We 
Please stand by our UK blood. Oh, brother. Uh, Let's go. All right, guys. That's all we got. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.